Today's video blog, we're gonna talk about getting remarketing right. Remarketing is one of the, um, the best digital marketing strategies available today. What it does is it captures the people who've been to your website as an audience, and then when they leave, it allows you to advertise to them in a targeted manner um, as they browse the web. So you're advertising to a really hot audience. These are people who are interested in what you do, they know who you are, and if you're doing it right, you're communicating with them at a time when they're about to make a purchase. So what good remarketing does um, is it acts like a really helpful shop assistant and it guides people um, along their path to purchase. What bad remarketing does is it pesters people, it pollutes their online experience and it will damage your brand in their eyes. So it's really, really important you get your remarketing right. It can be your best friend or it can be your worst enemy. And um, so today we're gonna share with you a sample uh, of the remarketing tactics we use uh, to create really good user experiences. So the first question you need, you need to ask uh, yourself is how long should I remarket for? Well, the answer to this question um, is found in your search funnels report. Your search funnels report sits within Google AdWords and it gives you brilliant information um, on a user's activity between their first click on your website and their conversion. So the first stat we're gonna see here is on average there are 11 days between the first click and the conversion. So your first thought might be, okay, let's remarket to people for 12 or 13 days. Um, this is, probably, this is not the right thing to do. Um, this is a great example of when the mode is a better metric than the mean. So to illustrate that point, um, let's look at another graph. So again, this is within the search funnels report. And over here we can see uh, the days to conversion. And over here we can see the number of conversions. So we can see that the majority of conversions are happening after 12 days. We can deep dive this information and we can see that as we get closer to the 30 day mark, the number of conversions per day starts to increase. This is wonderful information. We now know that our, our customers tend to buy after around 28, 29, 30 days. Um, so we know we wanna remarket to people for 30, maybe 35 days. The next question you need to answer is how frequently should my ads show? So something we've learned is there's an inverse relationship between the length of your campaign and the frequency of uh, the impressions for optimal performance. So what this means is if your typical customer is buying two to three days after they first visit your website, you're gonna have a short remarketing campaign and it's okay to hit them with a lot of impressions over those two, three days. However, if you have a longer remarketing campaign, such as the one we've just seen, um, you need to be a lot more polite in how you communicate with people. So I wouldn't be, uh, advertise showing people more than three ads a day. I'd cap the impressions at three. The third remarketing tactic uh, that we're gonna share with you today is the smart use of custom combinations. So what a custom combination is, is when you combine your remarketing advertising with another targeting method. So let's use an example. Let's use a golf equipment retailer who's remarketing. So if they're just remarketing on its own, um, this is an example of what someone who's been to their website might see. So someone's been to the website um, after they're on The Guardian, um, they're reading an article about stocks and shares, um, and they see uh, an ad for the golf equipment here. So although we are targeting to an interested person, at this particular moment in time, that person's thinking about their pension or maybe their share portfolio. Using a custom combination, we can remarket to that person when they're on a golf-related webpage, such as this. So check this out. All of a sudden now it's the same person, they're on the same website, it might only be 90 seconds later, but now um, we're advertising to a person who's reading about golf, they're thinking about watching golf, they might be thinking about playing golf, and if we can reach out to them with our golf equipment message, there's a very high chance that person's gonna come back to our website and make a purchase. Um, so there's three of our remarketing tactics, we're very happy to share them with you. Um, if you want to discuss further, get in touch. If you like the video blog and you want to see more, please sign up for our newsletter. All the best now. Bye-bye.